So Ape asked, uh, does the G5RV really suck? And uh, we talked earlier, people were talking in the chat on my stream about um, old hams bashing younger hams and, and all kinds of gatekeeping and stuff like that. And I don't want to get too, too down the rabbit hole of that, but the G5RV antenna does what it's supposed to do, what it was designed to do. And then marketing departments got a hold of it and said it could do a lot more than it was ever designed to do in the first place. And I had a G5RV. It was put up entirely wrong when I was a brand new ham. And I used a metal flagpole. So the metal flagpole is running parallel to the ladder line. And I've got it 25 feet off the ground. So it's not even high enough to be resonant. And I worked Japan from Wisconsin on 40 meters. So yes, the G5RV is broken. Yeah. Yeah, I have a G5RV too. And I think I agree with with Tio uh, specifically about deployment. It sucks, just like every other antenna does. There's all compromises in, in everything you do. Uh, you get it up high enough, and it'll work. Hmm. The only thing I've ever heard on the G5RV bat, well, I've heard that they work really good on 20 meter, and the other bands are so-so. Is the only thing I've been told by. It's a 20 meter antenna. That's a shock. <laughs> no, so aren't they supposed to be uh, multi-band? That was the that was the marketing department thing I was talking about. Yes, I mean if you put a good enough tuner behind it, it will get on any band you want to put it on. But it was designed by Lewis to be a twenty meter antenna for his small garden. Okay, and, uh, garden, <laughs> and that's what yeah, the the balance feed is for, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the unbalanced feeder for. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's it's a balanced feed. It's, it's sorry, you yeah. know, twin lead um, mm -hmm. or uh, ladder line, either way. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's basically a doublet with uh, an open wire feed line that's the right length for it to be resonant on a certain band. Um, so, so you know, you can just like a doublet, you can you can tune it for other bands, but because it's resonant on on one, it's going to be a little more of a struggle to to right. get it uh, on the other bands. I, I had one when I first got licensed, and it, it worked okay. It was a it's good great. first antenna. Um, you know, I didn't have any problem. I like like To says I didn't have mine put up right. I didn't have it on a metal pole, but but I didn't have it up high enough, and I still made contacts on it. So mm -hmm. it's it's better than no antenna. The best antenna yeah. is the one you have in the air. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've still got one outside, not upright, and you know, I've got my worked all states and my DXCC off of it. So and it's yeah. it's literally maybe eighteen feet. So. Wow. Yeah, and it'll get you on uh, um, more than one band. So, I mean, you could build a fan dipole or something like that, but at least with the G5RV, it's somewhat compact as well for yeah. 80 meters and things. So Every time it gets windy, it gets a little bit lower. So, 